In this video, I'm going to show you probably the most immersive way to play VR first-person shooters in 2019 using yes. the Force Tube Gunstock Rifle, the Cyber Shoes and the Pimax 5K Plus. And all of this goodness is coming yes. up. Hi, welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang, and this is your first time here. And if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button right, so don't miss anything. So in this video, I'm going to show you probably the most immersive way to play VR first-person shooters in 2019. I'd recently done a similar video where I showed you the most immersive way to play Skyrim in 2019 using the Pimax 5K Plus and the Cyber Shoes. Yes. But now I got another toy here and it's the Force Tube VR rifle that will give you recoil, the feeling of gun recoil in VR. And I thought, hey, why not put everything together and try first person shooters? And that's exactly yes. what I'm doing here in this video. So for the Skyrim video, some of you complained, hey Sebastian, why is it so short? We want to see longer gameplay videos from you. And I think you were right. This was really a bit on the short side. So this time I'm showing you at least 10 minutes of gameplay with this setup using the Cyber Shoes, using the Force Tube and using the Pimax 5K+. Plus. So I hope this is going to be better and more interesting and yeah, not too short. So the game that I'm playing here right now is Pavlov. Pavlov is a fantastic multiplayer online VR shooter that you should try out for sure. Now yes. this time, again, I'm playing it with the Cyber Shoes and the Force Tube and the Pimax 5K. I haven't done so until now, trying it out everything together with the setup. So yeah, let me tell you how it feels like. So let's first talk about the Force Tube. The Force Tube is that gunstock rifle that you can see in my in my arms, in my hand. So um, what does it do? Well, first of all, it feels like you have a gun or a rifle in your hand that already increases the immersion a lot. But for the force tube, the special thing is that you will even feel the recoil. This is pretty wild and I've made a video just about the force tube, so do check it out, it's cool. So there's some kind of force applicator coming out of the device whenever you shoot and you're going to feel the recoil at your shoulder. Also, you won't only feel recoil, there's also a rumble function. So when things are going on around you that you might be able to feel if you were really there, now you feel them thanks to the rumble and together with the recoil, that's a very, very cool sensation. So the force tube is currently available on Kickstarter. So if you want to get that device, if you want to get it as cheap as possible, now is your chance because, well, now it costs 199 euros, but later, once it's out of the Kickstarter and once you can simply buy it, it's going to be more expensive for sure. So if you think this is cool, check out my review of the device. I really like it. It's cool. It brings you more immersion and that's what we all want, right? So check out their Kickstarter. The link for the Kickstarter, you can find it in the description below. Yeah, so how does it feel? Great. It feels great to use the force tube also in this game, even though, you know, Pavlov is actually not officially supported yet, natively. So the developer yeah. of Pavlov, they have not yet used the force tube SDK in order to program that into their game. However, as I also told you before, actually all games will work since ProTube, the company that is doing the Force Tube, they provide you with uh, an app that will help you with the backwards compatibility. So the rumble function, the rumble function of the normal controllers is being mapped and whenever your controller would rumble in the game, actually you can feel the recall. So it works really well and I, I wouldn't be able to tell if this was native support now or if the backwards compatibility tool no. is making that happen. So, yes, it's a win for ProTube. Their backwards compatibility tool really, really works. So next, let's talk about the Cyber Shoes. And well, if you know this channel, if you watch this channel a lot, of course, you know what the Cyber Shoes are. But still, for all those who are new to the channel, let me still explain to you what they do and how they increase immersion. 
So Fuck. as you can tell, I'm sitting on a swivel chair here and I'm wearing the cyber shoes. The cyber shoes, they are some kind of strap on shoes that you would strap onto your normal shoes. And um, once you have put them on, you can walk in virtual reality by simply doing this walking motion, just as you can tell here on the video. So how does it work? Well, these cyber shoes, they have rolls underneath them and these rolls will detect when you do this walking motion. It is, it is kind of like these old uh, mice for the computer that had the balls inside, can you remember? Wow. So it is a very similar concept, however, well, it works much better than those mice because, well, you cannot simply stand on mice and run around, right? So this is very solid. The engineering that went into them is solid and you can even stand up. I could stand up here if I wanted to and the cyber shoes would not be affected at all. Yeah, so for the cyber shoes, it is really simple to install. You simply have to install one yes. file and then the cyber shoes will automatically be recognized by Steam VR. You get a little um, cyber shoes icon in your Steam VR, and then, yeah, you would start all the games that have free locomotion, just like this one, and then you walk away in virtual reality. It works very well, it's very simple to set up, and yeah, it simply increases immersion yes. since now. When you walk in virtual reality, you really have to walk, as you can tell here. So it's not just by, yes. by moving your, your thumb around. And of course, this is more immersive and there's not this disconnect between what you see in virtual reality no. and what your body feels. So this is really good for the people who suffer from motion sickness because you don't have this disconnect, you won't feel motion sick. Now, another thing that I would like to point out here, I know that this kind of looks weird or goofy or funny even, but I can tell you it feels intuitive when you're in VR and when you walk around like this. So this is something that you probably have to try yourself and just then will you understand that yes, this is a cool way to walk around in virtual reality. For those of you who are wondering, hey, will this give me a competitive advantage over people that simply use their thumb to walk around? I don't think so. I really don't think that those competitive players who play Pavlov and onwards competitively, that they will have a competitive advantage at all. Because, well, you really have to walk. It is a bit exhausting if you play too long. So, yeah, it will feel more immersive. But will you play better? No. So, last but not least, let's talk about the headset that I'm using. I am using the Pimax 5K Plus. So, if you're following this channel for a while, then you know everything yes. about the Pimax headsets for sure. But if you're new to the channel, let me fill you in about the Pimax 5K Plus. So, the Pimax 5K Plus is the headset that I'm using right now most of the time. It is a wide LV headset. It has a much wider field of view than all the other headsets like um, yeah, Rift, Vive, Vive Pro, Samsung Odyssey. It is actually not comparable. It is much, much wider. Where those old headsets have an FOV of around 110 degrees diagonally, this one will give you an FOV of yeah around 180 degrees diagonally, depending on which mode you're using. So that is definitely so much better as what the immersion is concerned. It is no comparison at all. And once you go wide FOV, you can't go back. You really can't go back. And all the other headsets, when I put them on right now, oh, they are like, oh, it simply looks old. However, the Pimax 5K Plus does also have some disadvantages like distortion at the outer edges of your peripheral vision. And yeah, that was basically the biggest problem that the headset was facing. But I have really, really good news for you and for all the people who are actually using the Pimax. Do try the latest PyTool version. The latest PyTool version, it comes with Brain Warp, which is the technology that will allow people with a lesser graphics card to also enjoy games that are more demanding. And they have done an amazing job 
as what the distortion is concerned. You barely can see any distortion anymore and that is truly fantastic. So for all you VR enthusiasts out there who want the most immersive VR headset right now, it is the Pimax 5K Plus for sure. And I'm looking forward to try out the Pimax 5K XR, the OLED version. And this is supposed to arrive at the MRTV headquarters pretty soon. And that's it for this video. I truly hope that you enjoyed it. And if you want any of those products, I'm going to leave the link to the Kickstarters, Indiegogos and websites in the description below. If you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.